Good morning, everybody. How are we today? Um, we didn't do a sound check, actually. Can we? I'm just making I, sure. Do, uh, yeah, I heard, I heard you breathing before we started. <laughs> oh, down the microphone. <laughs> That's fine. Morning, everybody. How are you today? Are we a little bit damp this morning? It did rain last night. Apparently there was a thunderstorm, but I was completely oblivious to everything, which I usually am. Um, so, hello. Hopefully, you're not feeling too... Kind of muggy and it is a bit humid actually and um, I used to live and work in Hong Kong and it was literally I would have to take a change of underwear to work because it was so humid and I'd have a spare set of clothes at the office just so that I could wear them there because it was just so ridiculously hot and damp um, oh lovely we've got lots of people joining us this morning good morning Alison hello Karen good morning Jan hello Jean hello Pam so what's it like where you are today? I think we might get away with a dry day, but who knows? I have left my washing outside this morning, so wishful thinking. Morning, Amy. How are you? Yeah, if there was a thunderstorm, I slept through it too. Yes, me too. Do you know what? I actually slept through the hurricane in 87, believe it or not, and we ended up with um, a chimney pot going through the front of my mum's car, which was facing the house on the drive, and there was a chimney pot sitting on the passenger seat in the morning when we woke up. Nobody, I didn't know that. I didn't hear that. It was right outside my bedroom door. Bedroom window, but there we go. Um, oh, let's have a look. Morning, Sue. It is drizzly in Derbyshire. You're painting your daughter's spare room before they move in on Thursday. Oh, how lovely. That's a really nice thing to do, isn't it? For people. Morning Deborah, how are you? Morning Linda. Oh, it's sunny in London at the moment. All good, good. Oh, Pam says, school's out so I can join you live. Yay! Amy survived two days at Legoland. Amy, I think you quite frankly deserve a medal, to be honest. So we've actually got quite a lot going on over the next couple of days, which I'm going to tell you about. Um, and we have got some beautiful new fabrics that I want to show you as well. We've gone a little bit kind of pastel today, pastel if you like, um, and I think these are absolutely beautiful fabrics, they're really kind of summery, so um, as we're kind of like heading into August and the summer holidays, I think these are going to be absolutely perfect, um, but one of the first things that I want to let you know about is, we've extended the uh, Porsche Trouser Workshop sign up. So you'll be able to, um, if you want to do the Porsche trousers, we're going to do the four, we've got four different videos going live over the four days that we would have been at the Festival of Quilts. And um, what we're going to do is we've extended it to midnight tonight. So even if you can't join us live for the workshop, this is a fantastic opportunity to get this course at a discounted price because it will be available after we've done the workshop but it will be back up to full price of 45 quid again and if you want to get it at 25 now now's your opportunity so you can sign up for the course um before midnight tonight that means once you've signed up we'll then be able to send you the email to the link for the course tomorrow so that you can if you want to join us on thursday so we're going to break it into four different sections so that we've got um the prep section then we've got the fly, then we've got the pockets, and then we've got the rest of the trousers. So it's a really easy one. So if you wanted to, you could actually sew along and you could make yourself a pair of trousers over the four days. I'm going to be available to answer questions in the chat. Uh, rather than doing it live, we thought it's much easier to actually have what you need to do. And then if you want to ask any questions, you can do that, that's not a problem. We've got a private Facebook group that we're going to run for that so that's where I'm going to be answering any questions so anybody who is uh, who signed up for the course will have access to the private FB group and that's where you can put all of your questions and stuff like that in there so I'll be able to uh, do my little tippy tappy typey thing and help you as much as I can um, if there's anything in particular I might just jump on and do a quick live over the weekend um, so if you want to know anything in particular, now I know some people have kind of said, oh yeah, but it doesn't go up to my size. We're working on it, okay? If you are, and it is quite a generous pattern, actually. I think the hip size for the Porsche is about 55 inches 
at the moment. But to be honest, if you're a little bit over that, just add it on down the side. It is so easy, it really is. It's not a difficult pattern to alter. There are very few darts and kind of fitting bits in it. So although, because the, the nature of the course, we're not gonna dive into fitting issues or anything like that. Um, it's just about how to make the trousers. We're going to be running, and we, they're not up yet, so don't ask me when, but we are going to be running some fit masterclasses. Uh, Olivia's looking at me thinking, this is the first time I've heard of it. <laughs> no, we aren't. No. What we're going to do is, I think this is something that's cropped up actually, is we're going to do some fit masterclasses because even a couple of our tutors are interested in learning how to fit properly. So there'll be more about those coming up. If you're interested, let me know. So that's really good. Um, oh, morning, Jane. Hello. Oh, you've paint, painted the kitchen. And now you're about to bake cake for guests. Oh, lucky guests. Um, Karen's it's dry over in Glasgow. You got the washing done yesterday from our trip down to Stratford. Now ironing with you and the rugby sevens in Tokyo. <laughs> that was brilliant. I'm glad you enjoyed the course, Karen. So that was brilliant. Um, morning, Donna. How are you? Hi, Claire. Uh, good morning to you as well. First time here. Hello. So, yes, yeah, so that's what we've got. Slightly distracted there. It's easily done. Got a question on Instagram. Can you adapt the Porsche trouser into a short? Absolutely, yeah. They make quite nice sort of city shorts. Um, because the par leg is parallel, you may want to just bring in the inside leg very slightly just to give you a little bit more of a, perhaps a little bit of a tapered look as the trousers are shorter. But yeah, definitely work as a, as a city short kind of thing. And actually it would look quite nice with a little turn up on it as well, which would be really cute. So yeah, that would work, absolutely, definitely. Uh, oh, Alison's definitely interested in fit classes. Brilliant, brilliant, that's good. Um, so, fabrics, what have we got going on today? We've got some beautiful new ones in that I want to show you. Um, so yeah, don't forget, if you want to sign up for Porsche, it's not too late, you've got till midnight tonight. That gives us tomorrow to get you all the information out, ready for Thursday. This is the only chance you're going to be able to get to get this course at this price, and it is such good value. It really is. If you've done any of our online courses, or if you're a member of the sewing studio, you know kind of thing what to expect. There's a lot of information in there, and we're going to take you through everything step by step, so it's going to be a really good one to do. Um, you can sign up uh, for the course on the website. There we go. Or Sharon might kindly pop the link in. And yeah. I said all of that without moving my lips. Isn't, Isn't that, that amazing? amazing? She is. Oh, brilliant. She, let's see if she's on the ball. There we go. She might put the link up in a minute, actually. <laughs> that's good. Um, morning, Maria. How are you? Uh, that's good. So, fabrics, yes. As Olivia said, you can sign up off the website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marvellous. That's brilliant. Um, oh, Luanne, you're away, but I've run out of fabric to play with. <gasps> Luanne, we may have something that will interest you here today. So, I'm going to show you this, first of all. Now, We've kind of gone for some lovely, light, pastel -y kinds of fabrics today. Just to be really nice and summery, even though it's quite humid and a bit thundery out there today. This is an absolutely beautiful one. This is gorgeous. I love this. It's an art gallery jersey. Now, anybody who's worked with art gallery fabrics before knows the quality. This is beautiful and it washes brilliantly. I love this. It's such a pretty design. Now... I immediately thought of a pair of PJs for this, but actually, I think it would work amazingly in our Cordelia dress. So if you like slightly lighter, kind of prettier kind of fabrics, um, Sharon can put the link up before we even speak, stop <laughs> speaking. She's like a bit like Radar from MASH. That's exactly her, that's exactly her. Sharon, you're gonna be called Radar now, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Um, Maria, can you download the Porsche pattern as a PDF? Yes, you can. Maria, you are able to do that very thing. Um, if you purchase the passion, pattern, you can download it as a PDF. You can then either print it off yourself at home or with an A4 Opal printer. You can then download it as um, a kind of a copy shop size, so you can do that and send it off. Or you can let us do that for you. We can send you one out. Um, so that's good. 
There's another question about uh, the Porsche course. Yes. They said, sorry if you've answered this question previously, but is this a recorded course or do you have to be available at a particular time? No, it's a recorded one. If you want to make along with us, you can, and we're going to be dropping in each video over the four days. So there's four videos, we've broken the course down into four sections. So you don't have to be available because once you've got it, you've got it and that's it. You can then have lifetime access to it and you can watch it back whenever you want to. It's just if you want to ask questions about it, I'm going to be available to answer those questions in the FB group that we're putting the links to. So if you've got any queries about zips or pockets or anything like that, or sizing or alterations or whatever, then I'll be able to help you there. But it is a pre-recorded one, so it isn't actually live. So I hope that answers your question. That's good. Um, oh, Linda, I have real problems with fittings. It's hard to do on yourself. It really is, actually. It's one of those things. It's not, um, it's not easy to do. We've got, oh, Luan says, AGF fabric is amazing. I've got a dress that looks as good after years. I know, it is beautiful. So, this lovely lavender, Sharon's going to tell me what it's called now. Where is it? Calico Days, that's what it is. Calico Days. I want a dog and I want to call it Calico. I keep working on Charlie, but he's not interested. He won't let me have a studio dog. I think we need to have a little bit of a campaign. I think majority rules. I think majority does rule, actually. We'll have to wait until the kids go back to uni, I think. <laughs> anyway, this calico days in lavender would look amazing in a Cordelia dress. I think this is absolutely beautiful and it would work fantastically. If you want something that's kind of light and pretty and summery, this is absolutely for you. It really is. And it goes fantastically well with the new linen slub t-shirting that we've got here. This is gorgeous. This is a linen jersey. So what's not to love, quite frankly, and this is absolutely beautiful. I think the two of those together, if you just wanted something that was really nice, just to kind of schlep around the house in, because let's face it, the whole kind of leisure wear stuff is not gonna go away anytime soon, is it really? Even though we're kind of opening back up again now, um, I think it's still here to stay. And I think that would make up. Now we've got the white back in. This is our flute vest from the Mechanicals Loungewear. That's just so cute, isn't it? I mean, this is really easy to wear. There is a course coming in the sewing studio very soon that deals with binding on a cover stitch machine. Oops, let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> um, and I think that would be a really lovely one to do, actually, and it works so nicely. So those two together are just gorgeous. Now we have the white and we've got that a little bit further back in the fabrics there, but I think the two of those together would look really lovely. So you could definitely have a pair of leggings or even the yoga pants. So these are the snout yoga pants in the beautiful calico, what's it called? Calico thingy. Lavender days, was it? Calico days, there we are, calico days. My brain at the moment, honestly, is totally fried. There we go, Shan's cropping links to the patterns as we speak, which is fabulous. Um, we have got this fabric back in as well, so I know people were really interested in this, and we've got some of this here as well, so which is lovely. So I'm going to pop those there. So I think these are gorgeous fabrics, and again, it works so nicely with our Arctic Dusk linen. So in terms of linens, we have got a, a new thing that we're launching Thursday first day that we would have been at the show. So we would have taken these with us to the show if we'd been there. Um, a little Westie would be the perfect Calico Studio dog. Oh, Linda, I'm kind of thinking a little bit bigger. <laughs> I want a retriever or a lab. Mm, a little golden lab called Calico. I vote a lab. I know. <laughs> Maybe we'll <laughs> take a vote on this. Maybe I'm gonna to say to Charlie, can I have a birthday present? No, we've got, it's got to be a proper decision. We can't just turn up with a dog one day, or can I? <laughs> um, anyway, back to fabric. This Arctic linen could potentially be an option for you if you wanted to buy a bundle. So we've decided to put some of our most popular patterns as linen bundles so that you can buy the whole thing all in one go. So you've got everything to get you 
started with a project. So you'll have the fabric, you'll have the buttons if you need them, the interfacing, the zips, everything you need. And we thought we'd start with maybe four, just to see how popular they were. So we've got the Helena dress, which I love. I think this is such an easy, and it's a beautiful one to wear when it's really hot as well, because it's very loose and it's like a kind of smock. In actual fact, the inspiration for this was uh, Far From the Madding Crowd, which is one of my favourite books, actually, which is a beautiful story, um, and I absolutely love it. So it's kind of loosely based on a traditional farmer's smock, and I absolutely love it. It's made up in the same fabric, Arctic Dusk, but you've got everything. So if you wanted to have a go at this, and you weren't quite sure, or you didn't know if you hadn't got any of the right bits, we can do it for you. We can get everything you need, so you'd have thread, interfacing, buttons, for the um, little button plackets um, and the, everything that you need to make up your pattern, including the pattern if you wanted it. And what we would do is bundle it all up for you and just send it out beautifully packaged in one of our pink envelopes for you. So you've got everything that you need there. And we decided we were going to do it with the Helena dress and the Kate which is a brilliant one if you are just kind of getting started with it because it's such a lovely, easy pattern to make. There are loads of really interesting little skills, transferable kinds of skills, but it's got nothing scary like buttons or zips or facings or anything like that. So it's a really lovely one to do. So you've got really lovely, simple kind of repeatable processes like darts, you've got putting in sleeves, you've got the binding, you've got patch pockets. Um, you can even put a frill on if you want to. So that's a really nice one to do. So if you're kind of new to sewing or you just want something that's really quick and simple, a nice little project, everything's all there for you, bang, you've got it done and sorted. Another one that we thought would be quite a nice one is the Celia top. Now you can make this with or without the frills, which is really lovely. So it's a really nice, different kind of option with it. Um, you can lengthen it or shorten it. You can make it a little bit shorter. You can actually shorten the body and make the frill longer, which is quite a nice way of doing things. Um, and I think this is another way because you've got a facing on here, so it gives you another kind of finish. So you're dealing with gathers and facings, and again, it's a really simple one if you kind of want to get into sewing if you haven't done it for a while. And then we also thought, right, okay, we'll go for something a little bit more complicated. So we'll go for the cargo, the aerial cargo pants, which I'm wearing today. So you've got the interfacing in the waistband, the button, the zips, the thread, the fabric, the elastic and everything to make up your aerial trousers. And you'll be able to choose which fabrics you want. So the products are going to be available on Thursday. So you'll be able to order those and we can get those shipped out to you because we would have had them at the show. Um, obviously we're not there this weekend. And we would love to see you guys online if you're not going to be at the show. And so these are the ones that we're going to have. So we've got Helena, Kate, Celia, and the aerial trousers. But if there are any others that, um, yes, we are doing with the patterns or without, so you've got a choice. So if you've already got the pattern at home and you kind of think, oh, actually, I just want everything else to make it up, you can do that, absolutely, that's one option. Or if you haven't got the pattern and you think, do you know what, this is a really good way to just get a project done over the weekend or whenever, then uh, we can print out the pattern and we can send the pattern and the booklet to you as well. So it's a little bit more than a PDF, but you won't have to worry because it all comes packaged up together, you've got the pattern as it is, So, which is a really good option. So let us know what you think. Um, Oh, lots of comments here. Let me go back and see if I can find something. Um, oh, is there a course in sewing studio on shearing? I can't get the hang of it, and it's so useful. Yes, Linda, there is. The little girl's dress that we put in at the beginning of July, that's all sheared. So there is a project in the sewing studio all about um, shearing, so you can have a look at that, which is really good. You've got 10 granddaughters. Oh my word, you're going to be busy, aren't you? Which is <laughs> how lovely. I really love that yellow, yellow gig of its haunts me. Elaine, 
we're trying to get hold of it. We are trying to get hold of it. Um, and as soon as we are able, it will be on here. Honestly, I'm not going to hide it from you. Sharon won't let me. So we'll make sure we put it out here. Great idea of the bundles. That's brilliant. Kirsty says, oh, that's a great idea. Love the thought of getting it all in one go. Yes, it just makes it easier, doesn't it? Yes, Donna, we are doing the bundles with and without patterns. Um, I like the cake dress and that top. Are you doing packs? Sorry, I came in late. Yes, Elaine, we're going to do bundles, linen bundles. So you can choose your colour of linen. We will put everything else that you need together for it. So matching thread, any buttons, zips, interfacing, elastic, whatever you need. Um, and you can have it either with or without the pattern. So if you want, let's have a go at the cake dress. And if you love that lovely colour, that chartreuse linen, we have that here for you and we can send it out to you. Um, oh, Claire says, can you do an FBA for your shirt pattern? Um, you could, but there isn't. Because it's a trapeze line, you might not need to do an FBA. It's actually very, very roomy. It is very roomy. So, to be honest, you might not need it, to be fair. What I would do is twirl it up first, just to be on the safe side. Um, you don't have to do the facings or anything. Just knock up the body ignore the sleeves, try that on first and you will probably find that you don't need it to be honest because it is such a loose shape, it's a trapeze shape so you'll probably be fine. Um, no, what I'm up to Thursday says Kirsty. <laughs> Great bundle salad, fantastic idea. What are time are the lives so long for the Porsche trousers to think of planning my days? Now they should be going live, 10 Olivia was it we said we would have dropped them in? Yeah. Yeah, give you time to get up, get stuff done, get a coffee on the go, and then you'll be able to find the links in, or the videos will be in the FB group as well. So or on their emails. Yeah, so have a look in your email. If you've already signed up, check your emails, check your spam folders, because all the information will be in there as well, and it'll tell you where you can find the videos and what time they'll be up for you. Um, Donna says, that's great, as I do have all, the, all our patterns. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. We like people like you. That's lovely. Morning, Tina. How are you? Um, right, so Elaine says, oh, I placed an order later today so I have to work. Just sneaking a quick look at this. Don't worry, Elaine. We'll be on YouTube later so you'll be able to catch up or you can find it on here as well, actually. Uh, Pam says, could the Eleanor be lengthened to make a dress? Absolutely no reason why it couldn't. You might want to think about the circumference of the hem and whether you want to keep it that at the at whatever length of dress you want to do, or whether, because don't forget, this is a trapeze shape, so if you carry on the side seams, it's just going to get wider and wider. So you might want to just slice it and drop it down, and then add in the paper for your pattern to, the, to make it the length that you want. So that's another quite an easy one, actually, which is really good. Uh, Jan says, I've already signed up but not received an email. It will be on its way, Jan, so do have a look. It might be in the spam folder as well, so I would double check. Um, so there we go. Porsche is on its way. Um, are there any fabrics that we could do? Linen. You could do linen Porsche, actually, which would be quite nice, obviously. So we've got some of the linens today. But otherwise, I'm going to move this one out the way and pop that over there. And then I'm going to show you some of the other fabrics that we've got. So we've done these two. Calico Days in Lavender, which is rather splendid. And we've got the kind of Heather. I love this because it's not, it's a little bit, it's got that texture to it. So it's not smooth like an AGF um, single jersey, but it has that lovely texture to it. So it's got a bit more about it, if you see what I mean. But I love this. We've got it in pale blue as well, which I'm going to show you next. But I think this is so cute. I mean, I think, oh, yeah, kind of summer pyjamas would be really nice in that as well, actually. Um, so this is the pale blue version. Um, is it opaque? Um, it, you can't see through it. No, it's not. It's, it's actually quite densely woven. So the, um, the slubs in it are not, I mean, you know, you might want to wear a black bra underneath it or anything like that, but otherwise it's absolutely fine. Uh, Sue says, oh, the child's sundress with shearing elastic is so easy and looks brilliant. My daughter now wants me to size it up for her. <laughs> oh, 
But you might be interested in the pattern that we've got coming out next month, and not that I'm going to tell you what it is. But some of the fabrics here are going to be absolutely perfect for it. And if you get three metres, you should be fine. That's all I'm going to say. So this is beautiful. I love this. It's a, I like these kind of, they're quite clean colours. Do you know what I mean? They're quite crisp. I think this is gorgeous. Now, I've put this with our embroidered double gauze. Now, this is, again, it's beautiful. It's just such lovely fabrics. They really are. I mean, again, I think this would blake up beautifully. You could have a pair of the um, snout yoga pants in the stretch and then a little peas t-shirt, actually, in the double gauze would be really cute. And again, it would be kind of like summer pyjamas, really. Don't forget the pyjamas work really well as shorts as well. So you can just cut them off whatever length you want to and bang, you've got a pair of summer PJs, which I think is a great alternative. So, beautiful. We have got some of the other double gauzes, the embroidered double gauze. Have you noticed double gauzes everywhere this summer? So you'll be bang on trend with this. Um, now this is the first of one of our new fabrics. So this is a blue and pink spotty viscous. How cute is this? I love this. Now, this fabric, along with some of the others I'm going to show you today, is going to be perfect for the new pattern that we've got coming out. And I think it's absolutely lovely. It's so pretty and summery, it really is. It's a beautiful, almost like a forget-me-not blue, and it has a little tiny cream spot with a red dot in the middle of it. And I think it's just so pretty, and it goes so nicely with the slub t-shirting as well, the sky. Sky blue linen slub jersey. There we are. Sharon's on the, on the ball. She's put all the links up. Look at that. She's had a rocky road this morning, that's right. Came for a boost. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, Sue. I don't know if you're going to watch later, but thanks for the rocky road. That's really kept us going this week. Um, one of the ladies who came on the workshop at the weekend brought some rocky road with her, and it was absolutely lush. It really was. Um, so clearly, Sharon's on a roll. She's on chocolate high today, <laughs> which is what we need. Um, so yeah, about three metres will do you, just saying, so yeah, for the new pattern. Not I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, but this again is another lovely one. It's just small patterns, but they're so pretty. So this is pink and blue daisy in viscose. And it's such a lovely quality, this fabric. It really is. It's just gorgeous. So this has, it's a kind of like a geometric pattern, really. Um, so it has, yeah, it's got a little daisy on a, it almost looks like it's a red background with a pink daisy and a blue centre, which is really cute, actually. Again, lovely. These, actually, if you wanted to do the Nell trousers in viscose, this would be a really nice alternative, too, actually. Um, or you could do a pair of PJs. I'm just talking about PJs. I want to live in my PJs at the moment. It's so hot out there, isn't it? You just kind of want to walk around like this. There's nothing touching you. Do you know what I mean? Or a caftan, preferably, like Dennis Roussos. Dennis Roussos, rather. Now I'm showing my age. Anyone else remember Dennis Roussos? We'll wait and see if it happens now. Olivia's looking at me as if to say, who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Catching my head. He was a lovely, very large Greek man in the 1970s that used to sing in quite high voice. Anyone else remember? I'm sure you must do. <laughs> Pam says, stop teasing us with this new pattern. You know you want to tell us. Not yet, not yet. Have we got a navy double gauze? Yes, Claire, we have. We haven't got it here today, but we have got a navy double gauze. So if you have a look at the website, it should all be there. So you can get that ordered today. Um, all people do remember Dennis Roussos. Lovely. Donna remembers. Yes, Yasmin remembers. Tumble down quilts, yes, Demis Roussos. Now you're talking, yeah, exactly. We're gonna to have to Google him, Olivia, so I'll show you who he is. He was, he was a legend, he really was, as my son says. So, yes, I have a caftan that my mum bought me swishing about in it after a shower. Oh, yeah. Now, do you know what? If you want a caftan, double gauze is going to be the best because it's so cool and light and lovely, 
even though it has that body to it because it's the double layer, it doesn't feel heavy. It's really, it's just a really fabulous fabric. It really is. Um, and the pink, I think, is so cute. And it goes really nicely. Look, you could have the pink and the blue, or you could have the pink daisy. I think they work really nicely together, actually. Oh, there we go. Sharon's popped up the link for your navy double gauze. So that's perfect. That's lovely. Now, I'm going to keep that because, actually, that goes really nicely with this one. So let's pop these away. So three metres. That's what you're going to need. About three will do you fine. And you're going to need it because we're having another heat wave in August, apparently, aren't we? So the next one will be heat wave proof. Let's move those. And we can tuck that out of the way as well. So... I love all these pink and blues. They're just so, they're just lovely, pretty, light colours, aren't they? Gorgeous. Now, this one is the fabric that we had our snout yoga pants in. And I, my brain, honestly, I'm, Sharon, what's it called? I can't remember. She'll put the thing up in a sec. I love it. It's a really gorgeous one. And it goes so nicely with this dusky pink embroidered double gauze. The two together are just absolutely spot on, aren't they? They're beautiful, they really are. Sprinkle peonies, there we go. I knew it was something to do with peonies. Honestly, if I had half a brain sometimes I think I'd be dangerous, but my brain cells are going. Um, oh, Amos is making it, Angelica. Gathering, gathering and more gathering. <laughs> I promise I'll do diploma stuff this afternoon, just make sure you do, she says, wagging a finger. That's my teacher voice. Okay, no. Do whatever you, I would much rather do sewing, to be perfectly honest. So that's good. Right, I think that's lovely. Again, I think this would make up so nicely in one of our Cordelia dresses. It's such a, a lovely pattern. And it suits all kinds of different shapes and sizes, which is what's so cool. Now, obviously, the V-neck on this, when it's on a person, doesn't sit quite so low. Um, it's actually a very simple one to put together. The course for this is in the sewing studio. So if you wanted to have a go at it, but you're not too sure, the course is already in there for you. Um, and the twist at the front here is a full twist. Can get a little bit kind of like, what is going on? Which is brilliant. So you've got the videos there that will take you through it step by step. And you can pause and rewind as many times as you need to for it to kind of just click. It's a lovely one. It's really quick and easy to do. You can make the entire thing on a sewing machine. You don't have to have an overlocker. If you have got an overlocker, it's a little bit quicker, but there are elements of it that you will need on a sewing machine. So you will need to make sure that you've got a little bit of a stretch stitch or a zigzag on your sewing machine that you can do a little narrow one with. But it is such a quick and easy one to do. It's a really lovely summer dress and it's so flattering. It really is. In fact, I'm going to leave it there because it just works. It's a really nice one to do. So I'm going to pop those pinks out of the way now because we've got some other ones to show you. Now, I think the next one is, is actually probably my favourite. So these two are again very similar to the first two that I showed you, the two viscose ones. Let's move these bits a bit. Um, and I love, I love this. I think it looks, I don't want to, I hate to say it because it might put the thought in your head, but I think it looks a little bit like frog spawn. But actually, I love it, I really do. It's a beautiful kind of jade green, and then it has a yellow spot with a tiny, tiny black dot in it. But I love it, I really do. And I think that um, I might have to make myself one of the new ones, a new pattern that I'm not going to tell you about just yet. Green and gold spot. There we go. That's it. A question, question on Instagram. Do I need to do an FBA on Cordelia if I'm a seeker? No. 
you won't, it's stretchy, so you'll be absolutely fine. Um, that's the nice thing about working with a jersey, is um, that you probably will be absolutely fine. I wouldn't even worry about it, to be honest. Just make up whatever size you would do normally. Have a look at the measurements on the pattern information that correspond to your body size and make up from there. And you should be fine. You probably won't need a bust, full bust adjustment at all. Because it's jersey, it's nice and easy. Um, Amanda says, any news about the book? Please don't ask me about the book because I might fly into a rage. Uh, I've got a big beef with the publishers because apparently you can buy it everywhere else apart from us at the moment, which I'm really not happy about. So I'm waiting. I've asked them if they are, what's going on, basically. And as soon as I know, I will let you guys know because I think it's grossly unfair that um, it's available to buy elsewhere and not with us at the moment. So apparently it was all to do with getting stuck up over from Asia and so I will let you know as soon as we get the books, as soon as we get the books, it will be all over social media. So um, as soon as we get them, we will tell you and probably we will pr probably film them coming in the crates off the lorries. So you know that they're here um, and then we will get them out to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, at the moment, I am in the dark as much as you. They haven't told me what's going on. So um, I'm a bit cross, to be honest. So rather than ranting to you guys, I'm going to rant to them instead. But as soon as it's here, we will let you know. Um, yeah, see somebody else has just, yeah, just received my book from Hive. Well, Lorraine, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, but it's very frustrating that we haven't got any of our copies yet. So enjoy it whilst you can, or while you can. Yeah, there we go. So this fabric I think is beautiful. It's another viscose. And it goes really nicely with our chartreuse linen. So this beautiful yellow. Oh, I think actually the two together look really cool. I really like those. Which is wonderful. Like that, like that very much. So I'm going to leave that over there because it actually goes with another fab that we've got. Um, and I'm going to pop that one away. So we've got another minty green one, which is rather lovely. So this is similar, same kind of print as the pink one that I showed you just now. But this is a mint green. And I think this is gorgeous too. Oh, look at that. That is so lovely. It has that lovely viscose wobble to it as well but it's just such a pretty design. It's a very cool kind of, it reminds me of kind of um, Islamic tiles that you find in Morocco and places like that actually, which I think is are, are absolutely beautiful. So that is, and it has a slightly kind of very pale lemony background, but again, I'm gonna put it with, there we go, blue and gray is crazy. But I think it works really beautifully with this lovely kind of sea green double gauze, embroidered double gauze. So again, the two together are lovely. They're so pretty. But I mean, this in one of our Angelicas would look amazing. Uh, a Regan, if you wanted to do it in a sweatshirty kind of thing. We've got um, a lovely kind of, almost like a kind of dusky, minty green rib that would work with it. An image it would be really lovely with this as well. So lots of different things you can do with this, but I do think it goes rather nicely with the double gauze there as well. In fact, the double gauze, let's move this one out of the way, goes beautifully with another of our new jerseys. So this again is another AGF fabric. And let me see if I can, it's called Cherished Gatherings, I think that's what it's called, she says, reading off the label. Um, Sean will put the link up in a minute, so I'll know what it's called for sure. Um, but this is really pretty. It has a very soft kind of green background and little sprigs of almost peachy grey and pink flowers, which when you kind of think, oh, peach, grey and pink together, doesn't sound very nice. But when you look at it, it's so pretty. It really is. Cherished Gatherings. Yes, there we go. That's lovely. Okay. Quick question on Instagram. Hi, could I ask what size is the Porsche trouser pattern for PDF printing service? Um, Sharon, that's one for Sharon. I think she said it was a large, actually. 
I can't remember. I think they did my large. Yes. Um, Claire, you just paid for shipping. There is about there is a code, so if you want to use it, we do free PMP today. Don't forget, there's a free PMP. It's the the code there is pinned at the top of the comments, so you'll be able to use that as well. Uh, Linda loves small flowery prints. I know they're really cute, aren't they? They're so lovely, which is really nice. Email us, Claire, and we'll see if we can sort it out for you. Okay. Uh, it's in the large section. Perfect, that's what I thought. Thanks, Sharon. That's lovely. So, again, I think this is really nice. In actual fact, I know it's at the back there, but it goes really nicely with our storm grey linen. Look at that, actually. I think the two of those together are rather nice. So you've got the storm grey, which I've put with the neutrals at the back there, but actually, I think two of those work really nicely together as well and we have got a plain cerise jersey too if you wanted to um, create something that was you know have a different um, different colored ribbing or neckband or something like that that would work really nicely as well so that's cool I like that I'm gonna move that back back to the back now because that's where it should be over there lovely um, again this would make up beautifully in a Cordelia and I think it would just look so pretty with a pair of bright pink sea salt sandals or something like that, which would be cute. Or Berkeys even. Pink Berkeys. I like that. Right, let's pop that one down. And I'm going to put that one down as well. So we want just some different ones. So now I quite like this little kind of colour story that we've got going on here. Now this, in fact we've got two of them. This is another viscose. This is slightly lighter weight than the others, but this is very cute. Again, it's um, a kind of a splodgy spot, which is rather nice. And it has a kind of an alternative colorway to it. So we've got this one as well. So they kind of work together, I think, which looks rather nice. Very cute. So. What would we call it? Blue and aqua dab print. There we are. So blue and aqua. And I think this one is light blue. There we are. And I think both of those are really cute, actually. Will you be having any hero workshops this year? Yes, Claire, we are. That's one of the things that we've got to do later this week is to sort out more workshops. So we'll see how... We're kind of taking workshops slowly at the moment just because... It's been a nightmare trying to sort everything out, to be quite frank, and um, working out when we're going to be able to do stuff, how we're going to be able to do stuff. We want to kind of see what's going to happen in the winter. We want to be able to work, put workshops up, but again, we don't want them to be cancelled or postponed because you know we've entered another lockdown or anything like that. So we're kind of a little bit hesitant about putting workshops up, but that is something that we're going to be working on this week, and we definitely want to do another hero. And we definitely want to do another Fit Your Buddy as well, Fit Your Dummy kind of workshop, which would be cool. Now, it's not really pastel, this one, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Is that just so lovely? This is Boho Fusion. Oh, look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? And it goes so brilliantly with the dab spot there. Look at that, aren't they gorgeous? The colours together are just lovely. They really are. I think they're fabulous. And then the reason that I've kept the chartreuse out is because I think it goes really nicely with this as well. It just picks out that kind of greeny, acidy sort of colour through there, which I think is gorgeous. I mean, oh, look at that. A pair of Porsche in this would look amazing just with a really lovely little top so you could do something like um, a peas whether you do the cow neck or the round neck actually would look gorgeous with that wouldn't it It'd be so lovely I really like those colours all together and it does also pick out that lovely kind of slightly aqua colour in the double balls so again that's a rather nice combination too so we've got 
Now, what colour is this? This is Air Force Blue, embroidered double gauze. There we are. And I think that works really nicely as well. Too many nice fabrics this week. Good Lord. Oops. Just making sure I'm not missing any comments. Oops. Could you use the boho for mechanicals leggings? Yes, absolutely. I think this would look amazing as leggings. That would be so cool, actually. In fact, any of the AGF jerseys that I've shown you today would be suitable for leggings because they have that four-way stretch. So they'd be absolutely ideal. Yeah, go for it. And don't forget, send us a picture when you're done because we love seeing what people have done with the patterns and the fabrics that we've got here. It's such a boost. It really is. I love seeing what people do with it because the whole point of it is you make the clothes that you want to wear, don't you? You're not having to go and buy something off the shelves that a million other people have got. You're making it yourself and it's much more individual and unique to you. So it's great, actually, which is really cool. So... What I'm going to do is pop that one down and get those out of the way. I have to put all this lot back later. I have to put it all back in the right place, otherwise Sharon doesn't let me have my coffee and cake later. So she does that angry face. She does the angry face at me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yoga pants would look good in the flowery one. Yes, Tina, they absolutely would. Now, I'm going to leave that here because I'm going to move these. Now, this is just a little colour story because I had to fit it in. Even though it's we were kind of talking pastels, this is a little bit bright. But I love it. So I'm going to move these ones forward because I can't not have a bit of colour. Do you know what I mean? It's got to happen. Now, I love this. This is... Um, vintage posy. Mm -hmm. oh, well done. See, I actually remembered one. Oh my god! Now this is the last that we're going to be able to get of this, so we won't be able to get any more after it's gone. Unfortunately, um, I am going to bag some myself because I really want to make an Eleanor shirt in this, but I think it's absolutely lovely. It's so pretty. It is a, a linen. Is it a linen mix? I think it's, no, I think it's just a, no, I think it is a linen mix, isn't it? It's a linen viscose. Vintage poses. Let me have a quick look. Oh, it's linen cotton mix. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. So I love this. I absolutely think it's gorgeous. I really do. It's such a beautiful, it's like a kind of an off-white background with the beautiful kind of bright cobalt blue and orange flowers in there. But I kind of think it goes with the, even though it hasn't necessarily got any of the yellow in it, it kind of works together. Do you know what I mean? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. But it also goes with the electric blue striped jersey. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I love it. I really do. What would be really nice, actually, you could do a really beautiful little, um, a kind of a shorter version of the Desdemona skirt in this, and then have um, one of the Rosa Batwing tops, which is one of the exclusive patterns that we do in the sewing studio, and have a little top in that, actually. It'd be so cool, wouldn't it? I really like that, I really like that. It's got me thinking, got me thinking. Let's pop that one back up there. Um, and the other one I really wanted to show you today was another of my favorites, which is this. Oh, if, if I was going to make myself a Cordelia, I'd make it in this, actually. Beautiful kind of like sunshine yellow. I think it's lovely. In fact, what is it called? It probably is called something sunshine, isn't it? Lacy Cosmos. Yes, it is a bit like Cosmos. The flowers, yeah. I love that. Again, it's an AGF fabric, so it has that really amazing quality to it. It's super soft, but it washes brilliantly and it makes up like a dream. It's it's not the cheapest, I will be completely honest with you, but in this instance, you pay for what you get, you really do. This is a quality fabric that will last you. 
And to be honest, if you are going to be making your own clothes and you're putting all that effort and time in, you want to make sure that it's going to last. So rather than buying something from, I don't know, Next, Primark, wherever you, White Stuff, wherever you go, invest something in you, actually, because it's the whole process that you want to go through that you enjoy making your own clothes. It isn't necessarily the outcome, although, let's be fair, it is really, but actually the journey that you go through and the process that you go through while making your own clothes, that's what gives you the buzz as well, isn't it, really? Rather than just what the end result is. Otherwise, why would we do it? I know, Linda, the bright yellow, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? It's just lovely and sunny, and it just wants to put a smile on your face. It really does. Oops. We used to have a bright yellow front door when I was a kid, and I loved it. It was proper canary yellow, and you could spot it a mile away. Um, and it was lovely. It used to be the same colour. My dad used to do uh, motor racing when uh, he was younger. He's still into cars now. And he used to race um, a Hillman Imp that was bright yellow. And uh, we used to call him the Yellow Peril. So maybe that's why I like it so much. But uh, we used to get carted around to race meetings all over the place when I was a kid. And uh, there we are. That's maybe where my love of yellow comes from. Who knows? So the last group I've got are the kind of neutrals. But I don't think they're boring. I think they're really lovely, actually. Now this is the linen slub fabric. So we've already seen the kind of lilac heavy one and the light blue. This is the white that we've got made up in our flute vest, which is rather lovely. And I think that's really cute. Actually, it goes really nicely with midsummer days as opposed to midsummer nights, which we've got, which is in the navy kind of version. But I love this. I think you could definitely have what would be really lovely. I think would be amazing actually. You could have a lovely pair of hero trousers in this, a nice little flute vest top, and then you could make the lovely big overshirt that we've got in the book. If you're lucky enough to have got the book already, then that's good. Then try making, having a look at the overshirt. In fact, I was wearing it the other day. Was it yesterday I was wearing it? I can't remember now. Um, but it's a really lovely pattern. It's an oversized shirt, um, and it's brilliant, actually. It's really lovely. I think those would make a really nice outfit, actually. So you could have, um, yeah, a nice kind of hunter's green oversized shirt with a pair of lovely printed hero trousers and a little white vest underneath. What more could you want? Perfect, it's kind of summery outfit. I think that would work really nicely. I like those all together. Again, with a little bit of red beads or red shoes or something like that, would be really nice, wouldn't it? Now, we've got this one back in again, which I love. It's a really nice kind of shirt weight fabric, but it has a very fine pinstripe to it. It's gorgeous quality, it really is. We sold out of it really quickly, which is why we got it back in again. Um, and it is lovely. It just has that very fine stripe, but again, it's it kind of works with these sort of olivey grey sort of tones, which is really nice. I think that's really pretty, actually. I love that. And again, it would make up into um, an Eleanor shirt perfectly. Or again, if you're lucky enough to have got the book already, then you could make it up into one of the, um, the oversized shirt, which again would be a really nice one to do. So we've got now the other ones that I'm going to bring forward are these. So this is another viscose. It's part of the new pale pastel ones that I showed you earlier. But it's a bit more of a neutral kind of design. But I think it's really pretty. It's not bland. Sometimes you can kind of think neutrals are a bit kind of bland and boring, but this really isn't. It has a lovely kind of, um, almost like an oatmeal kind of background with these soft kind of primrose yellow flowers. And I think that's really lovely. Again, this made up into a top, like an Imogen or the Angelica dress, I think would be really lovely, actually, because there are people that don't necessarily want to wear a white colour all the time. And this, I think, is absolutely spot on. I think it gives you an alternative. There we go. And I think that's lovely. It also kind of works with um, 
the storm grey as well. So I think that works really nicely too. So, or you could even put it with the hunter's green. It has that slightly kind of greeny undertone to it. Either of those I think would work really nicely, which is rather lovely. Or you could put, now we've got this is our pinstripe linen viscose mix. So again, that would work quite nicely with it as well. So again, they're all quite neutral, but they're not bland at all. They've actually got something about them, which I think is really lovely. This works really nicely with the stripe. And I think this is gorgeous too. And again, I would put this with um, something darker, like a navy, again, which would work really well. Having the fabric, fabric on top now. I think it's oh, the viscose. I think that's the viscose actually. I'm trying to put the link up in a second. I can have a look for you. Ah, uh, there we go. Camel and ivory. That's it. Now this I think is lovely, and I put. I think that works really nicely with um, the slate meadow cotton. Now I made a shirt for Charlie in this. Was it last Christmas or the Christmas before? I think. But actually, I think the two of those work really nicely together. So again, if you wanted to make a cotton vegan, you could put the two of those together, and I think that they would work beautifully, actually. So you could have the cotton vegan top, and then the camel and ecru striped... What is it? Camel and ivory striped jersey. Now let's just see what that's... Oh, it is cotton. It's 100% cotton. That's really nice, actually, because it feels really soft, actually. Yeah. But those two work quite nicely together as well. In fact, we can finish on that note now, because that's all of the fabrics that I've got to show you today. I hope... Oops. There we are. Oh, Amy's finished. Angela. Angelica is finished. No excuses for the diploma now. Well, that's good. Well done. So I'm glad you've managed to get that done. That's brilliant. Um, I'm hoping you've been slightly inspired by the fabrics that we've got here today. Again, three metres linen or viscose or even a cotton lawn actually will do for the next pattern. But I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Not yet. We're going to get the excitement of the Porsche workshop out of the way first. Don't forget, you've got until midnight tonight to sign up for that at the discounted price. It will be available afterwards but it will be back at the full price of £45 and it won't be in the sewing studio. So we decided to put another trouser workshop in there instead. Um, so the Porsche one will be a standalone course. So um, this is a prime opportunity to get this now at this hugely discounted price of 25 quid, which is, I think, fantastic value. So make sure that you've got that. Oh, that. Ooh, would the grey floral go with the mustard linen? Sorry, I can't remember the correct name of the linen. Um, the grey floral. Which one, Donna? Which one are you talking about? Is it the one that I've just shown you here, which is um, Slate Meadow? Or is it the grey multi-floral viscose? In which case, the grey multi-floral viscose. Actually, I think it probably would go with our warm spice linen. It's a, the, the yellow is paler, but I think you could probably get away with it. That's good. Quick question on Instagram. Hello, I'm a beginner sewer. I have never sewed a garment before. Where should I begin? Okay, best place to start would be something like a Kate dress or even a Celia top. Both of those are really nice and easy to kind of get you, break you in gently, shall we say. Um, we do those as, we're kind of doing those as bundles. So you will be able to get linen, or the interfacing thread, buttons, whatever you need for those. Uh, no, not buttons, because linen, uh, Kate and Celia don't have buttons. So that's good. I would recommend those. So one of those two is probably going to be your best bet. They've got quite good basic skills involved. So things like sewing darts, sewing pockets, setting in sleeves. You've got binding on the Kate dress and you've got a facing on the Celia. Both of them have got little bits of gather involved, which again is a really good technique to kind of get to grips with. So either of those would be your best bet to start off with. There is more information on the website if you want to have a look at more of the patterns. 
Uh, oh, Donna says the multiflora, yes. So, yeah, I think it probably would go with the warm spice. Might be a little bit. You can always order fabric swatches if you want to double check first. That's the best thing to do. Because I might think, yeah, it goes. Other people might think, mm, no, it really doesn't. So it's a very personal thing, isn't it? But I think you'll probably get away with it, actually. Let's close that there. So, here we are. Anything else we need to mention, Olivia? Uh, Porsche kits. Also, over those four days, we've got a giveaway each day. Yes, don't forget. So look on social media for that. Perfect. So, yeah, brilliant. Make sure that you are, you've got your phone in your hand, basically, for the next four days. And we will be doing giveaways as well. Um, all of it's just started raining. And my washing's out as well. But never mind. Um, so, yeah, I might pop up randomly and do a, the old Facebook Live over the weekend um, just to answer some of your questions. So, um, obviously, the videos, if we do them live, will be on our page, so you will be able to watch those afterwards as well, if you miss them at the time. Um, I might even do them out and about and at home, who knows? Who knows what I'm going to be up to because we're not going to be at the show. So, that might be quite interesting. Um, don't forget the fabric bundles. So, we've got Helena, Celia, Ariel, which I'm wearing today. I love these. They are so comfy. So comfy. I've made these in um, a viscose, but equally they work fantastically in the linen. Um, what have we got? Kate, Celia, Helena and Ariel are the first four that we're going to do as bundles. If you're interested in any of the other patterns as a bundle, let us know. And we might be able to do those as well. We thought we'd start with those four to start off with and see how they go. But obviously, you let us know what you want and we're here at your command, quite frankly. Um, and we will see you very soon um, <laughs> Sue says my painted wall now looks like the brush strokes material <laughs> oh dear decorating I know that's something I leave to others now really I've done my stint at that um, and it's sunshines in Wiltshire oh Pam maybe it's on our way on its way to here or maybe you're going to get the rain in a minute who knows it's good for the garden that's all we've got to think of it's good for the garden um, Enjoy the weekend. Don't forget you've got until midnight tonight to sign up for the Porsche. Look out for the bundles. They will be available online from Thursday. And we will be doing giveaways every day over Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the duration that we would have been at the show. Um, and I might pop up on Facebook Live randomly. You never know. So you can see what I get up to over the weekend. Have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're up to. Hopefully you'll be doing a bit of sewing or maybe out in the garden if the weather is nice. And we look forward to seeing you next week. So take care.